the Dayton community has a lot of different nationalities, a lot of different countries, a lot of different people living in it. And we want to show appreciation for all types of people by bringing everyone together to have fun. What better way in the world to do that than to play the number one sport played around the world? Known in a lot of countries as football, known here, known here in the USA as soccer. With that being said, I'd like to go ahead and get started with our uh, Parade of Nations. Starting with our first country. This country is part of the continent of Asia. Most of it forms a peninsula, which means it is surrounded by water on three sides. The world's highest mountain range, the Himalaya, rises in the north. The southeast is bordered by the Bay of Bengal. And the southwest is bordered by the Arabian Sea. The former government is the Federal Republic, and the capital is Delhi. The official language is Hindi, English, and 21 others. Money is called the rupee, and there are over 1 billion people. Let's welcome India. This next country has one of the strongest economies in Eastern Asia. Most of its wealth comes from manufacturing and service industries, such as banking. It exports ships, cars, computers, and other electronic items. The former government is Republic, the capital is Seoul, and the money is called Yuan. There are over 49 million people. Let's welcome South Korea. This country is the world's third largest country in size and nearly the third largest in terms of population. Located in North America, the country is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the east by the Atlantic Ocean. Along the northern border is Canada and the southern border is Mexico. There are 50 states and the District of Columbia. The most common language is English, followed by Spanish. Let's welcome the USA. This country is a large peninsula that bridges the continents of Europe and Asia. Istanbul is the largest city. The former government is parliamentary democracy. The capital is in Kharkiv. The official language is Turkish, and the money is called the Turkish Lira. Let's welcome Turkey. This country extends across most of the northern and central Arabian Peninsula. It is a young country that is heir to a rich history. In, in its western highlands along the Red Sea lies Hejaz, which is the cradle of Islam and the site of uh, religious holiest cities, Mecca and Medina. Arabic is the main language and there are different dialects, three of them. Sama was established in 1952 as the kingdom's central money and banking authority. Let's welcome Saudi Arabia. This country is located in Central Africa. It has 20, a 25 mile coastline on the Atlantic Ocean. It is the second largest country on the continent. The capital, Kinshasa, is located on the Congo River, about 320 miles from its mouth. The largest city in Central Africa, it serves as the country's official administrative, economic, and cultural center. More than 200 languages are spoken. Communication between groups has been facilitated by four national languages. Swahili is the official language and the language of instruction, business, administration, and international communications. Let's welcome Congo. This country is a sovereign state, largely situate, situated in the northwest of South America. It shares a border to the northwest with Panama, to the east with Venezuela and Brazil, and to the south with Ecuador and Peru. It shares its maritime limits with Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Let's welcome Colombia. One of the special things about this tournament is sometimes we have players that put together a team and they are from different countries. Therefore, they do not represent just one country, but they represent multiple different countries. So I'll read this, we have three teams. This continent is the second largest and second most populated. It covers 6% of the Earth's total surface and 20% of its total land area. With 1.1 billion people, it accounts for about 15% of the world's human population. This continent's population is the youngest amongst all continents. 
Let's welcome Africa United, the African Student Union, and the Dayton Malenge Club. <laughs> this country is a land of extreme, with high mountains and deep canyons in the center of the country, sweeping deserts in the north and dense, dense rainforests in the south and east. It is the product of a rich Indian heritage, th three centuries of Spanish rule, and a shared border with the world's richest country, the United States. Today, most people in this country are mestizos, which means they have a mix of Indian and Spanish blood. The official language is Spanish. Let's welcome Mexico. Woo! 